if you have high enough styles, it still works, even without pausing. But... I usually try to do it on named people because they have best loot, but sometimes random people have enchanting ingredients, so sometimes it can be good to check them, I guess. Yeah, as a barbarian leap, I'm really wondering about the boots with the leap. If I could use them um, for the stealing the brilliant cloak. But I'm definitely going to do some testing around that. As I said, all the stuff that I think is risky, I'm going to practice it before Ooh, I'm doing it with this character. I'm going to practice it with like a backup character. Yeah, the boots are harassed, but they're still great. For some situations, and also there's two pairs of those boots, so you have four users in total. I mean, you can't spam them, that's for sure, but if you plan where to use them, there's definitely uses for them. I used to use those boots in situations where you don't even need them, for like stealing from chests and stuff. But you can just always use Sparkrackers. Wow, why do these guys... These guys usually don't detect you this fast. That was really scary. I've never seen that before. I was testing Monk Blood Mage for this. Lo looks much safer though. Oh, this looks much safer. Yeah, I mean, Monk, Blood Mage, I was thinking about Monk and several different classes. The main problem with going not single class Monk is why you're playing Monk in the first place. Because fists can't break, but then they're summoned weapons, you know. So the main advantage of a Monk is if you go single class and if you multi-class it, it's like... Yeah, it still has some advantages. The fists are still great, they're better than some summoned weapons. And the monk has some great skills in general that you can use, and wounds and limited by resting and stuff like that. Everybody shut up. But I don't know, if I ever try monk, I might go single class, but... Yeah, the plus 10 int is really good. Blade turning is really good. AoE stun. As I said, they definitely have a lot of good stuff. But, I mean, a lot of classes do, right? Barbarian would also be great. Barbarian Priest would be really great for this as well. I feel like Priest is definitely something one should take with Salvation of Time. Brilliant Cloak. One should take a class that benefits from Brilliant in general. I almost don't feel like risking this right now. I don't know. I don't know, I just don't feel like grabbing those glass right now. Fuck this. Yeah, Priest with Salvation of Time. I mean, Withdrawal can also be amazing in situations. But just the salvation of time is so big on some classes. Once again, like Barbarian, he gets a similar effect to Scardius Edge. But it is much easier to trigger. Like, you just kill... I don't know if you have to kill an enemy or if you can just kill a summon and trigger it. I'm pretty sure you can just kill a summon. And trigger it. But it only lasts for 10 seconds plus your int bonus. But if you have salvation of time, who cares? Salvation of time is definitely the strongest skill in the game. The strongest ability, the strongest spell, whatever you want to call it. There's nothing you can compare with it. It wouldn't be as great without brilliant though. So I guess technically brilliant is the strongest ability.
Does your ultimate run involve looting the deck of many things? Yeah, it does. I'm actually just gonna use Spark Crackers for that. But you also need high mechanics, so it's definitely gonna be at higher level. You need like 17 mechanics for most chests, I think. You need like 20 for boss guy's chest, but I might ignore boss guy's chest and just loot the other ones. But yeah, deck of many things is great for money at the start, and also has some items that I'm actually gonna use that you loot there. The boots with dexterity affliction immunity, you can loot them, and I'm gonna use them, so that's really good. To delay after jumping and stealth. Jeez, to steal from merchant or boxes. You mean jumping with boots? With the leap boots? What can I do for you? At last, Belfetto, tell me, please, what has happened? I, I see. And the work? You say this is all the work of the Titan, of uh, Aeotis. You, you are too trusting. You, the queen, no cat, the bombs. So we need around 7-ish slate of hand for stealing the Badato Helm, but we're also going to get item bony on it. So stealth is going to stay very important. Um, But I will need at least one point in it, so I might as well take it now. Oh yeah, was a was a boots. Yeah, you have quite a lot of time. Like after you leap in, it's really great for pickpocketing people as well. If you leap behind them and don't bump into someone, they definitely have some uses for the run. Um, the wizard has too many good spells. <laughs> I mean, there's also grimoires, but still, holy shit. I could pick so many of these. I'm not even done with level one yet. If I wanted to go crazy, like, I still want this at some point. But we have to see what kind of grimoires we pick up as well. But there's also always respecking, so that's fine. Wanted to go with damage, I definitely go Ray of Fire. Ray of Fire is insane for damage. I wanna go more buffs. I might go this. But AoE heal could also be good. Um Let's go with this for now, I think. Now nah, let's actually go with the heal. I need the bathroom, I'll be right back.
Alright, I'm back. <clears throat> Have you unpatched 5.0? I'm still in 4.12. I've been on 5.0 ever since I've been doing the ultimate. I don't think it was actually available before that. So I think I've been on the patch for like over a week, two weeks. Yeah, sorry, I was going to the bathroom. Oh, also there's more in chat. Um, what's who's your favorite PoE god? Mine is Rimmergan. Rimmergan is pretty cool. Galavain is pretty cool. Um, yeah, probably. Oh wait, no, Val. Val is my favorite PoE god. Val is the coolest. She's so random. <laughs> also, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. You, you, yo. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Yeah, I don't know why you don't have it. I'm on. I'm on Steam as well. Let me see what the actual Steam thing says. Wait, does it even say? That's. I just save right now. We're not gonna die. So I'm gonna save. I have to do this every now and then anyway. This will mess up a restart. If I ever have to restart, I have to create a new character. Not Val, sorry, my English is not that good. Val. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's called Val, though. She <laughs> actually is psycho, but she's so random. It's funny. Yeah, I already died once, but this time we made it through the stupid sneaking part. And now I'm pretty confident there's no risk for quite a while. But we'll see. It's like a U in English? You mean like you are? No. No, it's actually called Val. I'm sorry, Meganya. I've heard the name said in game, I'm pretty sure it's how it's pronounced. Okay, where's the version? Yeah, there it is, 5.0. So yeah, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it is really weird because I'm also on Steam. And I'm pretty sure I don't have... Let me actually check if I have the beta, but I'm pretty sure I don't. Properties. Beta. Oh, wait. No, none. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not even in the beta program right now. I'm opted out of it. So it's not a beta patch. No, it's not an English word, Megania. It's a... It's a given name or whatever. It's like a fantasy name. Everybody shut up. <gasps> that clicky sound means it worked, right? Still my turn-based run? Yeah, turn-based takes a long time. I did one almost full turn-based run as well. I think I stopped in after Forgotten Sanctum. But the problem is just in turn-based you have to wait for the enemies. And it would have been... <coughs> It would have been really bad for the strategy on this run, and also, of course, with one of the challenges, you only get 10 seconds per turn, which would have been another problem. But yeah, it just takes a long time, combat and turn-based. Um, I don't think I'm actually going to rescue Beodol. I mean, it's easy to rescue him, and it doesn't really waste any time, so maybe I should just do it. At the end of the day, the skeletons just died to my priest ability that also heals me. Hmm. I just don't like fighting the skeletons. I just don't like it. 
which faction you're going to join. I'm gonna have to join the Principi because I need Scordia's Edge. Oh wait, I can't do this because I went to the village first. So I guess we lose that XP, whatever. Um, Eric Hunter Barbarian wanted to use focus, confuse not focus, and use the grave calling for a shill fox spam. First an attempt that I often kill half my team when I use it. Oh, you're using like the small skeletons, and you kill them, and they spawn shell fog. All right. Oh, so basically for the shroud of phantasm, ten hey, um, because we're a blood mage and we're priest of Skane, Um, basically, what you do at the start or when you're running towards the fight. The basic concept is to CC Vera with fatted cars so she doesn't immediately run to the fight. And then, depending on whether we've consul killed Consul Heart yet or not, we will use either Shadowing Beyond or later the wizard spells that you get at power level 6, that's even better because it can be extended. You use that to de aggro the enemies. So, with one of the challenges, you cannot flee from combat. It is the... This one here, the Barras challenge. So you can flee from combat. So you're gonna de-aggro the enemies because you're invisible and Vela didn't run towards the combat and you're immediately gonna run back towards her so she's not gonna follow you. And the enemies will de-aggro but you're still in combat. So as a blood mage, you can get spells back via using blood sacrifice. So how we're gonna trigger the brilliant is we're gonna use wall of flame on herself, which by the way, Vela doesn't run into, or she runs into it, but she doesn't take damage from it for whatever reason, which is really good. I mean, there would be ways around that if you like CC her or whatever, or withdraw her or whatever. But either way, it makes it all a little bit easier. She doesn't take damage from it. She just chills and is like running around in it and doesn't take damage. But you yourself take damage from it. It sometimes takes a couple of Wall of Flames, but as I said, you can use Blood Sacrifice. It sometimes will take a little bit of patience to get it off. But 